purpose. That I got when I when I I I studied this thing, I said that this man is an idiot. I hate the man. And no person know, you know, it's later they declassify that information. I mean the Mossad. Nobody know through whom this thing happened. And you know what? That military head lost his life. Israel, the Mossad, they went and killed the man, assassinated him in cold blood. That military chief. Because after bombing that uh, person, they, they saw that the man want to re they want to restart again, building that nuclear facility again. They have to take out that man. So what am I trying to say? You know, with the restoration for the restoration of Biafra, what we are in is a thorough job. You know what is thorough job? It's not something that goes with sentiment. If you come with sentiment, you go with sentiment. That's it. This is this is a game that requires patience. This is a game that requires, you know, a change can come at any time. You can change any time, change the system, change tactics. That is it. It requires people with wisdom and understanding. Not people with a one way, one way character, one way belief, or one way, and everything is one way. Nah, nah, so we do, nah, 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 if you know that like this, you know, big hand, nah, nah, wow, that way, that. no, it's just a joke. So, we must understand the enemies we are fighting. It is not only about Nigeria, no, 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 no. International community are involved. They are looking for one, just small excuse. One excuse in order to, you know, put a sword in what we are doing. Nigerian government has been laundering them to term IPOB an international terrorist. Mm -hmm. You know what it means? A country. You know, bribing Nigerian government. Do you know how much they have been bribing countries in order to become IPOB and international terrorists? They have been spending millions, if not billions, of dollars for the now. It's no more on the million, but billions of dollars. And you think it's a joke? Do you think it's a joke? That's why when you see all these things, you have to understand what we are in. We are not in a tight play. We are in a serious business. It needs focus, concentration, and zero sentiment. That is it. So that we can be able to achieve what we want. As I was saying, if Nigerian government has been bribing different countries of this world in order to become more international terrorists, and they are just looking, uh, not that they love us, so those that no, no, no. But they are looking and watching and seeing that we have not crossed any red line. We are on the law. Law is still protect on our side. So they are waiting. So they, 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 don't, they don't brand us international terrorists, not because they want they don't want to, but because we have not given them that loophole to do so. That is what they are watching everywhere. They are watching. And that is why we have been shouting here that IPOB are not criminals. We are not killers. We must make sure to drive a wage, the separation between criminality and IPOB, of which Nigerian government is trying to do to push, to push criminality into what we are doing so that the brand is in Britain that is giving them nothing, push them so that the world will say, just put, give us excuse, give us one excuse, you know, so that Britain will carry it, I mean British government will carry it in the head now to try to destroy IPOB in the face of the world. But it will not happen because the DOS is wise. 
the leadership of this struggle is wise. You know, after the war, they want people to run away. They facilitate visas, you know. In, uh, for you to go and get visa and run away. If you're a pastor, a pastor, you getting visa, most American visa, uh, UK visa, Canadian visa is nothing. You understand? So the thought, the caliphate, the Nigerian caliphate wants all of us to run away so that the land will be weakened. People that are there will be defenseless. But they found out now we turn the disadvantage into advantage. And I am very happy that IPOB's uh, tap root is abroad. IPOB's tap root is not in Nigeria, it's abroad. So for them to approve it, it's not easy. It's not, it's not going to. You remember Masob? Why Masob was able to, was easily run over was because Masob has the its tap root in Nigeria. You know, in Nigeria, let me tell you, there are many ignorance in Nigeria. In I mean, in, the, in that entity called Nigeria, there there are many ignorance in Nigeria. People one, people are sentimental. Number two, people don't view things at the broader level. They view issues with that narrow, that, that I don't on ground here. I can I hear it happen. I hear, you know, that mentality is there. Number three, they you know, people in the zoo could be easily corrupted. I, not all. all of us, all of us we are born there. We know how things happen. I'm easily corrupted, deceived. Easily. <laughs> Are you hearing me? Because when you see maybe uh we'll go to, uh, maybe ten comrades. Comrades the, the seven has has gone, start talking another thing. Listening to gossip. The same people, many people in now, if you cannot beat them, you join them. And in the zoo, lacks information circulation immediately. Because no electricity. Water is costly. It's not like any other place. Water is costly. No electricity. Are you hearing me? Everywhere is cloggy. So there are many things of fighting people in that entity. So before you know it, they convert. Anything they are doing into now, nah, give me money. Now, we're taking a Canadian medical. They don't struggle private uh, benefit. That is in Nigeria. And that is what happened to my top. That's why they can easily fall for propaganda in Nigeria. <laughs> What I'm telling you, I'm not we not something that we hear we we say it as it is. Are you hearing me? It's what happened. When they are when they arrested uh Wazirike, Wazirike was very strong and focused. They went to him with propaganda. Are you hearing me? But uh, the, first of all, they went to his people outside, to Masobians outside. Then, uh, what, you, know, you know, because everything, in every group, there must be infiltration, infiltration. When you are fighting a, a government or a state, the state also is fighting you through different ways. They will infiltrate your hands and fires. In order to give you advice, you think that uh, now this advice is okay. You don't know that it is a destructive advice. Let you hear what I'm saying. Do you now understand why the DOS is not is an institution? It's not one person. 
Because if it is one person, advices can easily deceive one person. But when there are many people as an institution, when, when people start based on, you will see they, some people will be bringing up some things you even you never think they, that side you don't think about it. That is an institution. So when they infiltrated myself and started criminality, now as no money now, use what you have to get what you want. They started the carjacking. They started the kidnapping because they have guns outside. We arrest their leaders inside. As the uh, Nigerian government, you know, succeeded in infiltrating myself, drilling them, pushing them to stop, to start fighting for their personal interests. Once it comes to me, I will take a return from this man. Now about 20 million. They now continue, started fighting for share of money. Now, now give, no three million, now give me. Now, okay, I will do my own. Now, you see, now they, they, they lose, they lost the focus. The same Nigerian agents, secret service, went to Wazirike in jail and told him, oh boy. <laughs> they documented everything and went and told him, look, you are here wasting your time. Your people have left you. Where is the master? They are now doing their business. Okay? doing they have guns and if you come out talk anyhow they can kill you so you better negotiate you know and uh, uh, negotiate with nigerian government that even they can protect you even because these are these people they are no more interested in your before you only are suffering yourself you die for you do you die nothing no person recognizes you you see that's black because was it was in dsa dungeon that time and this is what they are feeding our leader. Remember the same thing. But oh, the issue now is different because we are wise. All the one made wise. <laughs> are you hearing me? To counter them. And uh, President Amdekano established Radio Biafra London to disseminate information. And we are doing the thing to tell our people how things are. To tell our people how how the Nigerian Caliphate works. So that people will be warned to understand. So that you will not be derailed. Are you hearing me? So Paul was looking. When the thing he cannot no longer be it because he don't he don't really understand the reality from anything again. He have to you have to say, okay, bring that paper, bring that inside, and uh, I hope if I come out, I'll be protected. They say, no, no, you are, we'll protect you, we'll be giving you, not that you stop Biafra, not that you will stop doing Biafra, but you will be doing it with our, uh, the way we want you to do. They carry him gifts to hands of Mustafa, as his manipulator, or manager. That they put a, a, a memorandum of understanding. They tell him now, they give him the roadmap how he will be doing the affair. So that people will not see him and people will still believe in him. And you see how they build? Don't think that uh, when when they derail you, now they will, they will say, no, no, what you go, leave the affair. No. They will give you a way out so that you continue deceiving. You know, but the people that are Indian around Amarago, and the people that are wise did understood. They understand. Now the Wazirika is gone. Now you on the museum. Oh, yeah, yeah, you come out. If you bring a, uh, say, uh, uh, bring a print, uh, the Afra passport. After that one, you bring, bring, bring a, a, a registration, car registration, vehicle numbers. Say it's Biafra. We are now in Biafra. So, and then media, at the end of the year, every time they do Biafra anniversary, people will blow horn, carry uniform, play brass band, do Hassan Nashin, and also Biafra. That they relegate him to that level, and that one is gone. But this is what the, one of the things they want to do IPOB. So that when they use, they want to use criminality to compromise you know IPOB on ground so that they will carry lies 
give to our leader, say, Lenny, hear them. Look at what is happening. Not in the that is the reason why they are joining everything. Every criminal in the South is a IPOB. With the ESN. Oh, oh, they will go to Mazin and say, ah, these people, yeah, wow, they are now killing people. <laughs> this is your voice. You show you better, <laughs> you better sign uh, and uh, uh, protect yourself. We will, we know how we do with you. But he understood. Are you hearing me? Are you hearing me? That is the type of painstaking freedom fighting we are in. That is the type of very difficult thing we are in. But that is why it is good for you, for us to be informed, to be wise, to open our eyes, to understand the antics of our enemies, of our detractors. That is why we expose them here, so that you understand. Once they compromise us with their criminality, Britain will strike. We will now ban IPOB says and international. They look at their they are committing crimes against their own people. Therefore, we our law, our constitution, the constitution of the United Kingdom does not allow any funding of that goes to terrorist group. They close the account, they freeze everything. Gathering, they freeze it. America will take over. Others will make different statements. <laughs> that is what they are waiting for. They, they will not see. They are disappointed. Whenever Nigeria will choke them, they will say, "Ah, we are waiting." These people are wise. Though. We don't see no 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 excuse to harm them. They are what they are doing is under law, self determination. They are genuine self determination. They are doing it according to the law. So there is no way we can hold them responsible. So you know there are people that respect their laws. They respect the constitution. Hearing me. That's why they allow Mazinam the Kano to make mistake in Kenya. We are in Africa. You know it's a jungle now. They take African countries as jungle. <laughs> they can act anywhere in Africa. If uh, had it been Mazinam the Kano have been rigmaroling between different countries of Europe, they can't do him anything. They, if, if, for example, he went to, let's say he went to Cyprus, and British uh, MCC say, give Nigeria order, say, try to do it in Cyprus. Cyprus, we say, no, we don't, we cannot allow it. It's against our law. Do you see, do you see how they do? But they allow him to enter into a jungle in Kenya. Where they can bribe their way out, they can... Britain can tell Nigeria, don't worry, go and meet the, uh, the secret service or the military chief of Kenya. Just give him so, so, so millions of dollars and uh, he will close eyes and you do anything you want to do in the country. They don't respect laws. They don't respect their own law. Do you see, when they tell you that, look, Europe, they have built a garden. That is, they build Europe as a garden. Other places are jungles like in Africa. That is what it means. Because in a garden, everything is in order. In order. You don't behave anyhow. Killing of animals is, is not anyhow like in Nigeria. No, 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 no. You must have certification. Are you hearing me? Not you carry goat. You go buy a fresh goat. A life goat, you kill. No, no, no. It's not allowed. Because they're in a garden. But in a jungle, it's like that. It's allowed. I'm just giving you an example. So, they allow Mazin and the Kano to touch, to be in Kenya. They say, yes, it could be done here. Britain gave, her, gave its own permission. I say, take, take, it's fine, but, but do it. They facilitated everything with the American CIA, including the knowledge of Mossad, because nothing happens in Kenya without Mossad. No, it is their head office in Africa, Mossad. And hearing what I'm saying. In 1972, when the Mossad, when Israel went to take, you know, to rescue their hostage in Uganda, in Entebbe, they transited Kenya. 
Kenya uh, as their as their head office what's up they gave them we are we furnished with many many logistics in Kenya <laughs> I hearing what I'm saying so there is nothing that they can do in Europe but only in Africa only in Kenya they say go ahead yeah law does not uh, mean mean too much for the people law is just uh, something something written in book for them is something written in book they never they are not wise enough to understand what is law that law is what guides human beings so do it and they committed nigeria they they, they facilitated nigeria to commit international crime in kenya what they are doing they want to hold Mazin and the colonel as as long as they want as they could and to try to weaken IPOB through different ways criminality uh, through actually gossip so that camera my yoga people don't understand if we understand the way Nigeria is fighting IPOB you will you will you will, you will buckle up I'm telling you they they want to weaken IPOB through different ways internal quarrel internal this and that so that I dokashia wine is what they are what they are waiting uh -huh. when they see that everything is weakened now they will go and start taunting Mazinamika <laughs> taunting him listen let me tell you as I said they use anything that you cherish as an individual in order to tempt you. Mazinam the Kano sibling, they see that these people, Anya and Hanelu, they want all that matters to them is money. They allow them. Do you see the, the trick? They allow DSS is the Mossad of Nigeria. The head of Nigerian secret service, secret police. If they, they have the gadgets, if they want to do their work, they are they do it. Are you hearing me? To even international standard for your information. It's a control. You see, Mazin and the Kano sibling will go and open their mouths in the DSS. They will give them one room, visitors room. They think that uh, they close door. They think no, no person is seeing them. They don't know that the whole world, they see everywhere is wired, bugged. If you whisper, if you, they are watching you from the walls. This is DSS. And at the early time, IPOB started warning them, shouting, "Stop talking anyhow!" In the DSS, stop talking. They are hearing everything because they want to understand how IPOB is being run. They want to they want to enter into IPOB to, to know, understand the soul of IPOB. That is why they allow these people, they come, they start talking, rambling, this and that, not knowing that they, everything they are hearing, they are recording everything. Are you hearing me? And the viewers, they know. The leadership, they know everything. They know. <laughs> uh, these people, they are wise. Oh, I am telling you, they are wise. I applaud them. They know. So they use the test, the high test of Mazinam Tano sibling. They, are, they know from their conversation, their action, they know that these people have a high test. So they allow them. They allow them. Now in Anuziolu, we do not need to get by a bandigero shimoto, and then I facilitate the kidnapping. Nigerian DSS hold all of this as evidence. They use it to hold them tight. Black men say, "If you, if you don't, so you have to work with us." Okay, we know everything. Otherwise, we jail you and disgrace you forever. I can't help you, Lona Down. That is how government works. If you are in a kind of leadership position in this struggle, you be careful. You be careful even about your routine.
Be careful about everything. I say, be care if you are genuine, be careful. That is it. Because the Nigerian agents, they are on the loose. They know everything. They can use anything in order to tempt you. That's why wisdom is involved. And that is why what we preach here, you know, Mazinam the Kano started by opening the eyes of our people. You know, teaching all things that you can never hear in the mainstream media. And that is the best thing that you can do to a human being, opening the eyes. You know, once you are, your eyes are open, you want thing, call it one business. Somebody open your eyes. Somebody teach you one business you don't even know that is existing. You use it. You capitalize on it. You use it and make money. Somebody teach you one thing or the other, one profession or the other. That is the knowledge. He gives you knowledge. That is what the Europeans don't want. They are against anybody that opens the eyes of people to secret things. I hear what I'm saying. Because they want to guide some secrets. They want to guide hold the, all those life issues. I mean, developmental and advancement issues are secrets so that you don't know it. So that you continue the maroling in stupidity. That is why they, you know, they allow these uh, churches to fest everywhere. They allow the, the, uh, that the geos uh, this and that in order to continue scamming people. They allow them. Notwithstanding, they know the secrets of all these international that the Jews, they know their secrets. They hold their secrets, uh, 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 money laundering, uh, some even drug trafficking, they hold them, they keep quiet. Because what is important to them is that they are deceiving millions of people. Closing their eyes is good for them. One of the main things, the main reasons they are holding Mazinam the Kano, or they rendition him, is they see him as a threat. I hear what I'm saying. Do you remember uh, what is the name of um, this uh, very brilliant man that won the name that Zikiwe? What is his name? Sometimes names now can just escape. Um, boycotting the boycottable. What is his name? Please, can somebody forward me the name of this our man, that brilliant man that won, won the, uh, 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 what do you call him? That won the Kiwi. So be careful. Now that way he's going is not the right way. What is that his name, please? My goodness me. So, why did they kill him? Because he's opening the he was opening the eyes of Azikiwe. Are you hearing me? That is why they killed him. They 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 blackmailed him, and because killing can go through different ways. Mbono Jike, thank you, Maze. Udo Drege, Maze. Mbono Jike, yes. Because they, you know, he was exposing, opening the eyes of Azikiwe to the reality and Britain hated. He said they want somebody to that will be praising him. Now, nah, hey, you are the all and all. Now, nah, hey, you all. You are who? who the, all those praise, praise worshippers that surround Azikiwe, Britain, who, Britain will be sponsoring them with money. But that critic that open call you in the private and open your eyes, say, you say, Ebena goes out there, le, 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 Britain will we spot that person and uh, see him as a threat. That's how they eliminated the Bono Jike. Mazen Bono Jike. Boycotting the boycotter. Are you hearing me? 
That's how they eliminated him. Because they saw him as a threat. A threat. He was trying to open the eyes of Azikiwe. <laughs> they used to praise the singers. Hey, Ezekiel, do you know who you are? That's why be careful praising somebody at an elite, somebody that you know. Be careful. Tell somebody the truth so that he understand. Now you are doing well, but le, 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 look at this side. Look at this side. He doing your as all. It's very good. Britain hates any person that opens the eyes of people to the reality. Britain, Britain has it. They love somebody that uh, gives you fake hope. No, God, no, God, mostly religious people. Don't you see how they allow them to fester? They give them that is a visa. If you want, uh, if uh, but that the Jew demands for American visa of maybe one month, they give him five years, multiple entry. They, don't worry. They facilitate everything because they know that he is doing the work they want. Closing, making people being in arrant stupidity. That is what they want. But once they see you as somebody that is waking people up, hmm, you're a threat. <laughs> you are completely a threat. I hear what I'm saying. You are a threat. They will try one way or the other. If they try to cow you, to bribe you, to make you switch the lines you don't you don't want, they can try physical assassination or through poisoning or blackmailing or make you know anyhow in order to bring you down. That's why you know that you're on the right path. <laughs> so let us be careful. What we are engaged in. Is not a child's play. The eyes of international spies are watching. They are watching. The leadership, they are watching. The eyes of the international spy, they are watching. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Whether we can make mistake. Are you hearing what I'm saying? The thought that uh, once the rendition was in Namdekano, they can destroy the movement. They thought that through one way or the other, they will bring katakata inside and everybody will be wrong. That is why the DOS, no matter what is happening, they will come to clarify and tell everybody, please, let us be careful. They find it worthwhile in order to give warnings, like Mazichina Sanwaru said last time, those blackmailers, those you know that this struggle is not about self-aggrandizement or enriching, you know, or why you are when you just like uh, George Onibe when he was on A. Hey, uh, he needs uh, two tele two phones or two one laptop. He will ask laptop to from a uh, one country. And they will give him. He will add the same laptop to different, maybe 10 different countries. You know what it means? <laughs> you know what it means? Even if, for example, that kind of person continues, they know his, the secret service, internet, Nigerian secret service, or international secret service, or, they know his weak points. That he is doing this just for, for personal interests. They will be waiting, even if the thing, even if Biafra is being restored, they will meet him, corner him. Do you see how they act? I mean, international spies. That you are our man, you have to work for us in this Biafra. You work for us. If he said no, they bring all his files, what he has been doing. And tell him if you don't work for us, we will blackmail. We will use this and expose you. The whole media will carry it, and you are gone. Your political ambition in Biafra will be gone. Finish. That is why everybody must be careful. You never know tomorrow. <laughs> they will meet you. If you are living in America, the CIA can meet you. 
Just say, <laughs> we know you are, you are, you, we want to, we want you, you know, in the future you can be a president. But you, you work with us, play ball with us. When you open mouth to talk, they will bring your whole files. What you think that uh, no person, they will bring it out and tell you that, look, we know what you're doing with it. <laughs> if we expose it, no person will ever trust you again. So you you be politically dead. It's what they did as a keyway, and use it to control as a keyway. When he borrowed bad debt from ACB African continent, thinking that nobody knew, they facilitated his borrowing, the borrowing and spending on his campaign and other personal issues. A <laughs> man of Britain is watching them, watching him. They use it now to manipulate him. When they tell him something, they say, you must do this. So. Otherwise, we expose you. Once we expose you, even that a presidential uh, campaign, you are you know more. People will stone you, and there will be judicial procedure, and you go to jail, and you will die of a heart attack. Do you, can you imagine how you will be in Krikli? And behold, the whole big zik of Africa is has fallen. They will paint that very, very you know, bad picture, and you yourself, you, you say, but they say no. There's a way out. We will not, uh, we will not, we don't tell you not to campaign, no, but we will help you, and you become president. But the only issue is that it's only between us. You will be the president, but you have no power. But for the public, there will be power. You will be power. You see, once your enemies take control of you, they will now. Provide a leeway for you to start deceiving people. Uh, do you see? Do you see it? Do you see? Do you see, do you see it? Exactly the same thing they did to uh, Owasirike. They tell him, no, 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 not that you will stop doing Biafra. You will. Ah, we will give you money. Don't worry. If elections are coming, any governorship or any type of election, you put them out. After all, you are oh, you are an elite now. You put mouth. You can make threats. Don't worry. Threats that if not, don't worry. We know. It's a part of it. It's allowed. We understand. You can hire politicians, give them, uh, you know, talks. You know, they will give you a way out. At the end of the, sometime, from time to time, you can call people, gather, and uh, do Biafra and Nefasa. They will give you a way out. For you to continue deceiving people, that is. I want people to understand intelligence. Inter when they say intelligence, it is very deep. Intelligence work. They use it to manipulate as a keyword. Are you hearing me? They use it to manipulate as a keyword. And the Mazin Bolo Jike entered. He saw the whole thing. He told the Azikiwe, "Say no." Oh God, please, please, these people. I don't trust these people. Now they also use the building of financial market in order to blackmail Bono GK. They give him the contracts. Now nah, nah, you get this contract. Out of this, uh, this thing, every I don't know whether every ten pounds you have one one pound or one penny. I don't know. You have thoughts. <laughs> that is it. Which is also a blackmail. Uh, so, w when you are acting, you be careful. You never know tomorrow. That is the thing. Because whatever you are doing, the secret service is watching. That is why we, IPOB, they see that uh, <laughs> we cannot be demolished. Though. They use the siblings of Mazinam the can to start katakata. Kata. No way. The DOS uh, put a uh, which uh, uh, you know with inspiration from uh, our ancestors. The DOS with one lie, the DOS put sit at home, Monday sit at home. Which Eluna Lana to support support that. Can you use the the siblings manipulate our leader? Yes, a counselor the sit at home to cause confusion, and the people we are mad.
the day Marzi, our HDOS, the day he came, I hosted him. The day he made the announcement to, in order to cancel that, I was, I even, I wanted to cut him beforehand, before God and man. I say, Marzi, what are you doing? I, I engage him privately. Now, Marzi, what is happening? Why will you cancel this? You know what he told me? I said, Marzi, he will a way, he on a way more than you, but I have to obey another. Another is another. I have to obey. Hey, Obi, Obi, ni live na yemi mo akon wale jo. Obi, jo yi si mo kema. This man is loyal. He's loyal to a fault. I am telling you. That is what I said that day inside me. I said no. This man is loyal to a fault. He said, Marzi, this is annoyance. I'm, this is a private conversation. This is annoyance. I'm more annoyed than you. I'm not sure the name you am neko, but I have to obey another. Another is another. I have to obey our leader. He cancelled it. So I have to. And after cancelling the thing, now they went back and start promoting it to cause confusion. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, IPOB girlfriend. Uh, did you understand? After working to cancel everything, lying to our leader, giving him a false narrative, he canceled it. Our uh, 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 head of directorate he, uh, he came up and canceled it. Now they went back and started promoting it. Yeah, in Allah, yeah, in Allah, the the is still tough. That's why do you see since how long they never allow Martin Nam the Kano any visitor. The DOS publicly kept quiet, although working behind the scene, but publicly kept quiet because they don't know anything they can come up with. These people will sabotage it immediately. They know it will work, but they will sabotage it just for out of. Uh, I don't know. Out of uh, hatred, uh, self-destructive hatred. Sometimes, even we, I own people. Let me say it. Now, when are we going to even succeed as a people? Even if we have Biafra, well, how do you think? Because the, the type of animosity, if an evil man has animosity against his fellow, Oh, goodness me. He can go at any length. You know, that's why I say our people, we are still primitive. Is IPOB that is, uh, you know, restoring, trying to remove us from that stupidity. But many of our people are still primitive. Primitivity is about self-destruction. Self-destruction. That is primitivity. Self-destruction. When you see what these people are doing, what is what are they getting? So that to make to destroy the DOS, so that uh, Master Nam they come out tomorrow and say ah, they will say ah they are the people they will say nah what have they achieved? Nah, nothing see nothing they have achieved, but they fight them every inch of the road. Do you see? Just to prove that now nah, these people they know they are not qualified because they know they don't achieve and they didn't achieve anything in your presence, in your absence. That is only thing, nothing more. So that they will be disqualified in the face of their France everywhere worldwide. That is the motive. They don't care whether the movement is destroyed, that is not their problem because what you are thinking is not what they are thinking. So we should be at the last. That is my 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 point, we should be at a lot, mentally, physically, in everything we are doing. Are you hearing me? Remember I said, why Mossad is so powerful, considered so powerful? Number one, they don't take anything for granted. Why is well in general is powerful? They don't take anything for granted. They can hear maybe... Uh, 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 shooting in Texas, in the city of Texas. Israel will analyze it. You will see it. Oh, it's ordinary shooting, you know, uh, 10 people killed. 
is a terrorist attack in, in Texas, far away from Israel. But Israel will analyze it and check the whole people involved. Check why the victims. What, why should these people be targeted? Does it concern anything concerning, does they have anything concerning Jew? Does, they will analyze everything. They don't look at anything, you know, for they don't take anything for granted. Never. And that's why they are deadly. So IPOB will be modeled like that. Don't take anything for granted. That's why we have no forgiveness. IPOB, what happened to one of our leaders? Mazike Chikugua, Biafra Land Coordinator. There is no forgiveness. It doesn't matter. There is no forgiveness in, in the dictionary of IPOB. And that is it. We are, a, we are state actors. In every, normally a country, they don't have forgiveness. Are you hearing what I'm saying? You see, the Somalia that is being destroyed today, that is a laughing stock. Do you know that there was a time Somalia was a very good country? Helping, they helped the different parts of Africa in order to fight for independence. Do you know that? Somalia, you are seeing that uh, uh, today, laughing. Uh, if you are making caricature, you say, ah, it's like a Somalia. They were a country that helped different African countries to fight wars against the West and liberated the different African countries. And uh, do you know what? The West, they kept quiet. After they started, they, 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 when they open fights, they don't forgive. They avenge. They remember, oh, this person did not like, they will keep it there. You think that, they, before you know, they put a problem there. In order to avenge, they will tell you the avenge on what happened in 1924. They don't, they don't forgive. There is no forgiveness. Are you hearing me? That is how IPOB is. There is no forgiveness. Any person that is preaching to you, forgive, forgive. As long as he touches IPOB, no forgiveness. We will revenge. Do you see why the Fulani is waxing strong? Uh, Nasir, uh, Nasir Rufai, former Kaduna state governor, he said it. He said the full name, a full name, they don't, they don't, even if it is 100 years, they don't forget. They must revenge. Bala Mohammed, the uh, Sokoto state, is it a Bauchi state governor? He said that in the tradition of revenge in the life of full name, that is the cause. He said it. So, they are proud that they don't forgive. We are as you think that forgiveness is godly. That is what you are being, pro being programmed to believe. There is no forgiveness. As long as it touches our collective interest. No forgiveness. Revenge. That forgiveness is revenge. We revenge. I'm I, I Megwara. That is how it is. You understand? I get me gonna in in one way or the other. Make question go and now I got one. it. So we must continue. So before I open the lines, I will read this news headline. You know, um, because let me let me see let me see let me see let me see let me see. Peter will be ask. Uh, Nigerian government to fish out killers of 16 Anambra youths. Yes, and rightly so. But um, P2B that is asking, in 2013, many people were slaughtered, many beers from many Masor members, and thrown into a zoo river. And of recent, he revealed that he wanted to take action, but uh, other came from Nigerian government to leave that, and he left it. He kept quiet. Now he's calling for uh, 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 fishing out killers of 16 and number youths. What of Fizu River? Yes, what happened in uh, this court, Nimbo? Let me tell you, what Nigerian government is doing in our land is mirrored. Is they are, too, they are legion. They are too many. The way they plan to pull us down as a people in our region. They use criminals, they use cultists. Cultists, what do they call it for? The, the worst is that, what do they call it? 
Let me tell you, courtism in other many other places, they use it as a place where people learn exchange secrets, secrets for advancement, for your information, skull and bones, different different cult uh, this thing in America and or Canada and other places. They use it as a place where they exchange information secrets for governance, secrets for advancement of a country. Are you hearing me? But in our own land, they escort, export cultism as for killing, killing for money, doing different bad businesses, selling cocaine, uh, doing the kidnapping, uh, armed robbery, all calls. Do you see how they push something you can use positively? Now it becomes negative in our land. Sometimes I ask, what is, the, what is the reason? Why, when you are in a courtist in our land, now you kill? You say, man, you, you, you know, you kill your own people. Why is it so? There is something terribly wrong, honestly. Assisting young men we are killed in Nibo, uh, Nibo in an ambassador due to court clashes. And Peter uh, 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 you know, he come out quickly because he see that it is uh, it involves a court, court, court is no government involved directly, although it's government that is sponsoring all these things. But it's not government uh, issue directly. That's why he come out openly. When Nigerian military will kill our people everywhere in Anambra, in him, he will keep quiet. He will keep quiet. <laughs> and the same Peter B, he wrote, he called, Peter B calls for forgiveness as go on clocks 90. Peter B, when a slave praises him, like our brother called the other day, say the story of slave, slaves and their masters. When the master is sick, maybe he, can, he didn't come out, the slave will ask, are we sick? Look what robot and it's true. Are we sick? So uh uh will be as a slave now because one Nigeria he have to satisfy an able man is only people, is only person fighting, is a detribalized, trying to prove himself to be detribalized. We are asked others, they don't care. They tell you the the, the 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 Yoruba governors they will gather and sing Odudua anthem. No no qualms. The Northerners they will hold a meeting in Arewa House. They will tell them they, they will tell the whole world that what matters to them is the North. They ask Tinubu, what do you have for North for us the Northerners? What do you have for the North? Not for Nigeria for the North. Iboma will not ask, what do you have for East? No, he will say Nigeria, every Nigerian. And I know he, Iboma is all of you. That is his name, all of you. <laughs> you know, very, 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 very strange. So, Peter B. Rice go on to congratulate him. Calls for forgiveness. Forgive who? So, let us forgive, you know, it's the same, the same spirit now. I want your car. Oh, okay, I forgive you. Oh. Let the Jews forgive Adolf Hitler. That is what it means. What happened to us? You know, that is not even the main problem now. But the way our people have relegated what these are our politicians, relegated what happened to us, that what happened to us that should be in the forefront all the time. Look at the Armenian genocide. I, when when Turkey was uh, Ottoman Empire, not the, the same talk today. This genocide happened in the First World War more than hundred years back. But Armenia continued fighting, continued fighting for the world to recognize that uh, Turkey committed genocide against them. 
Yeah, imagine it is our people. They will say, ah, now why you want to remember what happened on the day? Are you there? I beg, let us move forward. Forgive and move forward. Hell, oh, this is I want this is no IPOB. Now try from this. A people that don't care about what happened to them. Are you hearing me? It's very, very sad. People be as a Nigerian, maybe as a Nigerian politician, Nigeria. Now, he started wishing, writing publicly to congratulate Go on, the Hitler of uh, Nigeria. To tell him, he congratulate him. For killing our people and living long. Somebody that should be in suffering in jail. You know, when Pol Pot of Cambodia, when you know, as the West demonized him, because you know, every opposing or, and let me call it, is it anti the, the, the person they call anti democratic, a dictator? Any person that is not with them, they will paint you, they will paint you like you are na naive. Now you be that Lucifer. The same way they painted the uh, uh, Idi Amin. I grew up thinking that Idi we used to use Idi Amin as a Satan. Thinking that India me used to feed on on human flesh, I'm telling you. Not knowing that it is the Western media, media propaganda and brainwash. That is why so game this type of thing. Come get belief in their religion. Oh, they defend there. Now I wanna know why I won't go them now. I have died. You know, brain dead, direct. People that can bring up somebody because he opposes them, because he's fighting for the people, for his own people, for his own people's improvement and advancement. Now, the West will bring that person, nail him to the cross through their media, and the people will turn against him. <laughs> hey. I say the way they demonize Idi Amin. I grew up thinking that Idi Amin was a human monster. Even they acted it on film. Are you hearing what I'm saying? They, they, we watch Idi Amin as Dracula. Not a real man. They, they, um, they use Hollywood in order to act Idi Amin as if he is a... That is Lucifer, Satan they call, they created is Idi Amin. Not knowing that all these are propaganda and brainwashing. Let me tell these things. Let me see. So, the many this thing. Now, come guy defend the occupation of the term. No quote. See, he had the no quote. Yes, no is you. See, no. The time of ignorance is over. The time we are babies is over. Now we are mature. Are you hearing me? I, you see, anything the West is demonizing, demonizing, demonizing. Look well. Go and check the bright side of it. You know what I'm saying? That is it. Because they know how to nail somebody or nail a country. Crucify it in the eyes of the whole world. The masses will, will support them. Say, go and kill all of them. Not knowing that these people are innocent. They are just fighting for themselves. That is how life is. So when you understand all this, you will start protecting your own. Peter B, let me read a bit. The 2023 presidential candidate of the Labour Party, Peter B, has advocated for forgiveness and the need for unity. Always unity. Unity. Unity among the Nigerians in the wake of the 90th birthday celebration of former military leader General General Yakubu Gowa. We are looking unity, unity. 
Um, the north, they are optimizing. They are always in optimization. What is there for the north? But the woman, oh, Nigeria, unity. You know, let us you belong. Oh, that's a belonging, unity. You want to be detribalized. You want to be called, oh, praise, the tribal life. You don't know that once you are praised by the caliphate, I say, the tribalized Nigerian, you are foolish. You are very foolish. Nobody should be the tribalized. Are you hearing me? It's just like calling you, you are no more son of your father. You are a bastard. You are the tribalized. You are Nigerian. Oh, you are finished now. It's an insult. I'm a proud Igbo man. Proud, okay? I'm a proud Igbo man. You should be a, a proud Biafran, Igbo Biafran. You understand? Not the tribalized, no. Because you cannot go now, they serve you food. They say, okay, um, they bring a uh, tuo. Or kura de nune. Uh, bring a uh, uh, real uh, uh, goosey soup with apple. You say you leave a goosey soup, say go and eat two. I said the tribalizer uh, Nigerian, which means you're a bastard, you don't know where you come from. Are you hearing me? How someone will, will go and be first of all eat the kura de nuno because he's a, he's, he's a the ten. You know, that one will eat his amala, finish it. Then you and Ibo man will be looking at, let, no, no, I leave uh, so that they will not say I'm a tribalist. Let me eat uh, amala and eat. No, you are stupid, then you're a bastard, complete bastard. As an Ibo man, now we are a first of all, 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 we are a Any person that sees you, say, nah. Now, nah, Nibo man, don't worry. No mind, I'm Nibo man. Say, and I'm now, now, so I be now. I be Nibo man. Waiting, I go be again. So, now, so I be. But you see, all this our politician. Nigeria is, he have made us to become, you know, also our politicians, they don't know whether they are up or down. They want to belong. They will go, a uh, big travel to go to the, to the, uh, 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 this thing. Very a ground of uh, is it a uh, Ahmad Bello or oh, Tamandam Folio? Which one to pray <laughs> so that he will be seen as uh, he is no more an evil man, he is a detribalized Nigerian. But what happened now? You that say you are not an evil, even a job, oh, you're a German, you are not an come out to, to do, do be president now. You robot. That time they will tell you that you are an evil man. <laughs> Don't you see good luck, Jonathan? He was a child of circumstance. When Buhari was talking, do you have you forgotten? When he was interviewed about uh, the uh, Biafra agitation, he said, Why? They are they have been the president. Who, 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 Jonathan, is he not an evil man? Do you see? <laughs> hey. We use we ourselves. When you deny your identity, you want to you want to satisfy foreigners more than yourself. You are a simple bastard. I'm telling you, even foreigners will not they don't respect you. Why they respected Ahmad Bello? Britain respected Ahmad Bello because he was clamoring for his. Not that he stood where he is, where he was. He said, uh, <laughs> "Now not not an I don't care about Nigeria. Now not an agenda. I did not waiting for not waiting for us. The not they saw that this man is an intimidating figure. Are you hearing me? That they are they are uh, uh, domineering, dominant species." So they have to follow him in order to negotiate with him. And negotiating with him, mellowing him down, is giving him leverages from others. When you, uh, because he is the person that is giving headache. So when Britain 
uh, talk about Nigeria, they, they, they say, this is Nigeria, Arab, we know that for your Nigeria bank. Britain, now, what do you want now? What you, even as if you will follow the bank, they tell Britain, now, you only beg him now, what do you want? Give him anything they want. Ahmad Bello say, okay, before we become Nigeria, make sure that we become a forever majority, everlasting majority in the House of Representatives, in government, and automatically Britain gave them 52% of representatives. Out of 100, they give them 52% direct. And that thing, they cannot go below 52% today. So they are everlasting majority. Number two, they give another another uh, uh, this thing, excuse or demand that look, when you talk we the not, you must involve put middle belt Put a, we will be in the north till the map of Nigeria will be you draw north as down till the uh -huh. That is will be the boundary. That is number two, second condition. Britain said, okay, uh, I was, uh, give him now because uh, you know we child that the one that gives the headache is is the one that they want to uh, appease the more. When they look at uh, Aziki, Aziki, when I uh, say it is now. Nah, Give them no problem. Me on they go first. I will not the smart. And I went in high man. It was joke. Are you hearing me? So, number the third condition for being Nigeria, among Nigeria, by Ahmad Bello. He said, okay, first, second, the third, that the Sultan of Sokoto will be the spiritual head. Both the uh, Christians to so the whole religious chief and the number one chief, 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 traditional ruler. He will be at the forefront. The forever everlasting in Nigeria. And they, sang, they sanctioned it. They say, okay, no problem. They say, okay, welcome. We are part of Nigeria now. Is it not what we are experiencing? That's why they are dominating. That's why they have dominated. That's why uh, 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 you know, they took over middle bears. As part, they forced middle bears. We are not. Oh. If you say no, they kill you. Because Britain gave it to them right from is a so you say uh, you know agreement signed before independence. So when you do a map of Nigeria, you do. Have you ever seen that? Instead of north and south, east and west, you be cut from the center. North and south, always from the center. Equal half from not now, but will you ask why is it that not? If, I don't know whether people make all this observation. Why is it that when you draw map of Nigeria now, not instead of stopping maybe before Plateau, it will come down after Plateau to Benue now, coming down to Enugu. Uh -huh, that is where the north ends, <laughs> so that they put the south as very small. Don't you see that it is psychological? They own everywhere. <laughs> hey, you see this uh, caliphate. I admire them how they are political juggernauts. I admire them. Why am I saying this? For, for us to develop our own political sophistication more than them. But when you think that they don't know anything, because that is that word, nah, they don't know anything. That is why we, are, we remain foolish. If you see, don't see uh, 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 Obi. Saluting our killer, the genocidist. He know that what he did, his people, their friends in general, even people in particular will not like it. But he don't care. Because he don't care about the sentiments of the people. Because it don't matter to him. He is interested in Nigeria. As a detribalized Nigeria. So you don't care. It don't matter for After all, once uh, everything goes well for him, he will come and, and bring a bag of rice and uh, be throwing you know, uh, this thing, plastic of uh, indomie to you. And you will, you will change and you know, you know how to get you. He give you a say, you come and say, ah, forgive now. You come to church and hey, no, you know, just like a baby. And you are, you forget everything. That's why he concentrate on the north to appease them. Appeasing you doesn't matter. Because you are not human being enough, it can deceive you. 
immediately at any you know he will come tomorrow and make statement and say you see i won't do so it doesn't matter so, and you forget say, after all he give you one loaf of bread don't you see a, a white man giving bread in lagos people line up able-bodied men and women line up there is something i see in nigeria i don't see only hunger please i don't let me tell you even in somalia people can be dignified even in hunger let me tell you they cannot see white person just a, a stranger oh yeah come and take bread all of them they will come and no 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 that's what i think but in nigeria have been you know people know, they lost the sense of dignity anything that bread even if it is only half loaf nah let me go and take it will not even belief for you they will just line up go and take it, 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 it surpasses what you have in that place that entity called nigeria they are departing from the channel of human beingness i am telling you i say if nigeria exists for another 50 years they will breed another type of homo i don't know whether homo erectus or homo keniko i don't know but they will depart from the mainstream human being because it's mostly in nigeria you see people lack dignity you will see a bodied man he's not hungry but he's going there just to take something free here for sir nah come go here you know not that he's hungry when people say hunger they are not that opa opa gluttony are you hearing what i'm saying that is what i see there gluttony opa that is what is there so the, the the what we have there are dehumanized human beings dehumanized people that have lost their sense of human beingness so they are just rigmaroling like animals so it's not only hunger no it's more than hunger you see somebody a stranger sharing loaves of bread and people gather you see hefty hefty men and women now come down with make i go take and now i'm not free now no that's why they use nigeria as a space for you know uh, testing drugs guinea pigs everything they bring come nigeria children in jigawa are suffering being rampaged with kidney diseases children and you don't know that uh, everything is not okay they bribe politicians and big pharmacists come and test their drugs that they've not tested even on on any other animal they test it in nigeria people will be dying because there are many people in nigeria so they have to diminish human being life is nothing and the people are not behaving many people are not behaving like a human being in nigeria i'm telling you no dignity no style no tests everybody is just now nah, just like it's very very sad indeed so peter b is praising our killer the person that killed us in big quantity in large numbers genocide which britain swept on the swept on the ground he said uh, go on say he fought uh, uh, for uh, one nigeria and one nigeria we are seeing till today now i ask what is the benefit of one nigeria to us as a people what is the benefit just tell me what is the what when you talk about oh you fight for one nigeria let's keep what is that benefit if it is not only for the for the criminals we call politicians that are benefiting everything from our oil gas natural resources everything they allocate everything to themselves that is the only benefit what do you benefit as a one nigeria needs what do you benefit nothing 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 uh, but uh, it's unfortunate that we are in this situation with the people that uh, you cannot understand with uh, politicians they are, they are 
their, their, you know, uh, 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 their system, their understanding is shallow. What matters to them is their political interest and nothing more. Everybody can go and buy. Are you hearing me? So I'm happy that the Ohaneze Ndibu, Ohaneze, Ohaneze, General, they say General Gawan or Basanjo masterminded killing of Igbo school children during civil war contributed to current Nigeria instability, Ohaneze. That's it. It's true. The Ohaneze Youth Council has said that former Nigerian heads of state General Yakubu Gawan and General Lucia Gobasanjo allegedly, not allegedly, not allegedly, masterminded the killing of Igbo, Igbo school children during the 1967 to 1970. They say Southeasterners. These people stop confining Igbo to Southeastern. I read the other day that Igbos in Igbo communities, is it 17 Igbo communities in a Edo state, are clamoring to be part of a Neoma state. And the gov the Edo government, the Edo state government, say no. That they, if they remove them, that they will not have access to natural resources as they used to. Which means they remove the sheer, they tear Igbo land into pieces and added annexed to different, 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 different uh, states. <laughs> I am telling you, you see this on it, it, you see somebody like Iwanya, he need to be brought out and born from death and born to ashes. Because these are people, since after the war, they knew what is happening or what happened. They allowed, they didn't, they didn't raise alarm. They allowed evil communities to be shredded into pieces and be added. We are to added into different, different other zones. And when they add them down, they say, deny that you are no more evil. And this zone, these people, these evil communities all have mineral resources, gas, oil, crude oil, gold, different things. <laughs> Hey. Uh, sometimes I say, why, why even did I come out in this uh, generation? Maybe I would have come out in 13th century and ate and dined with the Kumek warriors. By now, maybe I would have been a tree. Because the tragedy that happened to us in this, this generation is too bad. It's too bad. Our people compromised to to you know, to undoing us. That's why Obasanjo, you know, he he said that he used Igbo to kill Igbo. Proudly, openly, not as he didn't hide it. And Igbo, Igbo so-called old men and women, we are clapping. I use Igbo to kill Igbo. And people clapped. Very, very sad indeed. And it's a youth council. They condemned it. Uh, Peter B, you want to be Nigerian president. Let me ask. Okay, imagine that they give Peter B the president for four years or eight years. Let me say. Uh, what will he, uh, he will be called, called the ex-president. What will be called ex-president. What shall be our gain? No, no. I want people to, uh, to please, maybe when the line open, you uh, you tell me. What, will, what shall we gain? After for four years or eight years of people be as Nigerian president. Is she is she is she so you okay? What will he achieve? What will be our gain? Uh, after uh, you know we start crying again. Nah, we need the uh, Biafra. Because after if for example Peter B was the president, you will see. I am telling you, it will divide many people's attention in IPOB. I know what I'm saying. Because even during the campaign, I saw Anormano Minyoku, some people, old job, I'm saying, eh? People in this struggle. Say, eh? So let us keep quiet. Oh my God. Now from there. So after four years or eight years, I, 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 Nothing more. That time you see what is wickedness against us. If you talk beer, 
awagi before you say fra. Our Ishiga Pugo. Because the international, he will go to the international community and say, Look, I am a woman from Anambra. These people that are IPOB, what there is, they are they are miscreants. They are terrorists. Kill them. I'm an evil man. Pure evil man, not half. That is what we have would have happened. Are you hearing me? So that's why we should remove sentiment in what you are doing. Because sentiment takes us nowhere. Instead, sentiment is, is a killer disease in us. Sentiment. We accept the things so through sentiment with speed. That's why religion came and rampage us. Sentimentally, we flush out or started the fighting against our way of life. We are as old as like Europe, but they retained, you know, they were retaining their system. Their shrines, they conserve many of their shrines. They were acting with a brain. Ibo man, no, these devils destroy them. No, Holy Ghost fire. Whoa, 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 whoa. Before you understand, the whole damage has been done. That is a sentimental set of people. They don't have reserve. And that's why we can make mistake, huge mistake, going to into going into pit, pit of hell happily, thinking that we are doing the right thing. Before we re, uh, before we recognize it, ah, you can't wanna this is the way we collected, accepted the uh, foreign religion everywhere on our field. Yoruba people. Do you see uh, Pastor Bosum, who is a Yoruba man? Do you remember when he analyzed? He said Yoruba. It doesn't matter whether he is a, a Muslim or he is a Christian, so called. As long as he's a Yoruba, they don't believe what they believe is the Ashango. Whether you are the Jew, whether he's as long as you're a Yoruba, they believe in their shrine. How many Yoruba pastors that the heavy that the Jews with multitudes, millions following them have turned and become Shango Shrine Efa priests? Don't you see them? But the Ibo man, hey, I know about no Holy Ghost fire, oh, destroy everything. He destroyed them, and uh, before you know, after they say this is then you have is false, so hey, oh my god, the mistake of saying it. Uh, let us continue anyway. He continue in that mistake because he has done. Because we are sentimental people, we don't look back, we don't reason, we just move. You, you know, I'm there whine and I whine, I whine not train. I move all like train. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, whoa. We don't think backwards. But in IPOB, we are complete. This is where I'm going to stop. I have other news headlines, but let me keep it here because time is no more with me. I will go into a few minutes break so that when I come back, I will open the lines. Uh, before I open the line, before I go to the break, Seth, let me announce this um, who pulls or them abducting an activist, non Songkwa. You know, the guy has been trying in his own way. People have, he has been exposing many things that are happening mostly in Imo State. People have been calling because you know our people, they love somebody that fights for them. But they cannot rise up to fight for the person in case of problem. That is the fault. That is why, you know, sometimes you feel that even fighting for our people is useless. Those people that uh, call, uh, nah, hey, non -sumpa. hey, nah, nah, wow, I get to you. Hey, nah, wow, see what happened to me. Expose you to help me, oh, this and that, oh, to obtain as a, uh, as a human rights activist. They can, once there is anything that happens to them, to the person, these people cannot organize themselves and rise up. At least in a democracy, you have the right to, to demonstrate, to protest in the democracy as a citizen. I said, no, leave this man. Leave this man. He is doing the work. Everybody that got no name, not all job. 
but uh, they like to use you, you to be, for you to be in forefront for them. It's very bad. That is bad character, bad behavior. Those that used to call Nonsongwa for help. Oh, look at what is happening to me. In fact, where are you people? The vampire of Imo State have done it again. That is, they kidnap. If not how people were shouting, maybe they would have killed him. You know, Nigerian police, they are kidnappers. Nothing is done through constitutional procedure. No way. They see somebody on the way, they just hijack you. Carry your phone. Seize it. What, what does it mean? You become incommunicado. What does it mean? It's kidnap. If it is a police pro arrest procedure, arresting, the process is, they, they, serve, they can serve that person paper say, come. You know, they invite you to the station. Convocation. Come, you have so, 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 question to answer. You go. You alert people. But when, you know, for you to understand, you know, Nigeria is another thing altogether. Police, they will know you how they will not come there. They will just, you know, ambush you somewhere so that they will kill you. If care is not taken, they will kill you. But when they see that our people saw what happened, people start out, they will say, uh, I will say, leave him, leave him. Leave him, oh. leave him. Police now come out. We arrested after 24 hours. We arrested him. It's not arrest, it's kidnapping. So, people should rise up in order because a voice that talks for the people once there is a problem people should rise up in order to also talk for him that is the thing therefore we must continue when they subdue if they succeed in subduing the little voices that are talking for the people you know that you know darkness will be everywhere that is what that vampire of emo state wants that is what he wants to do to subdue everywhere so that they can be doing human trafficking, kidnapping in Imo State. No person, no problem. No person we have. The, you know, you will not have the God to come out to talk because you remember, oh, now nah, they have killed, uh, they have uh, kidnapped uh, Nonsongwa. Do you see it? Just like as they killed uh, our IPOB Biafra land the coordinator. They thought they they thought that they would put fear in IPOB. Hey, nah, nah, no, nah, no more. Me, I know they I beg go before they kill me. No. We are resilient. So push you, talk loud, and organize themselves and come out in emo states in order to ask in a civil manner to ask for the release, unconditional release of Nonsonkwa. I will go into a few minutes break so that when I come back. I will open the lines. Please do not go away. I'll be right back. The government, those that are leaders, have set a bad example on how not to be good citizens. Nigeria is one country where honesty does not pay, where integrity does not take you far. Where the more you are hawkish, the more you are adept at state capture, the more political mileage you get. Such is the kind of system we approach today. Where people are rewarded, where corrupt people are rewarded with. So the highest offices in the land. So that is the kind of system we operate. So why should anybody now sit and die in penury trying to be a good citizen? Any country, go and study the history of most developed countries today. It was leadership by example. Singapore had Lee Kuan Yew. Saudi Arabia had Ibn Saud. The United States of America, beginning with George Washington, had a succession of leaders that kept praising the bar of leadership up until this point in time. And so it is the story across the world. Leadership must take the lead. To be able to reward good behavior and punish and sanction bad behavior. But when you reward bad behavior as a system, and you're trying to punish or exercise good behavior, people will simply adapt to what will make them survive the situation. Oh. That's what you have in Nigeria. So it still boils down to leadership. It's a leadership problem, essentially, because God has placed leadership in such a vantage position that it can influence good and it can discourage bad. But when leadership now influences bad behavior, I rewards it. So how are you going to now explain people that, are, that have chosen to remain good and die in penury? That's the situation in Nigeria, it is sad. But I'm saying it's no longer sustainable. Uh -huh. Nigeria is inching towards a failed state that might eventually collapse because of this current system. And that comes a time in the life of a real nation when leaders sit down and say, okay, 
we've had enough. We have we've had our fill from the common till. But can we now begin to do the right things? I'm sorry, I'm, I must interrupt you. The political class, are they willing to, to do what you've just described? What because it sounds like you're asking them to commit class suicide. Uh, it is their interest. It is in the interest of their own self-preservation to do that now because Nigeria can no longer sustain their profligacy. Otherwise, if they continue on this path, they will become victims of the seeds of the structure they are sowing through bad leadership. We're getting to that point. So as analysts, we're like ancient prophets that are warning kings. So oh. Doom and destruction is coming because of your iniquity. So the iniquity of our leaders today is going to bring destruction upon us that will consume them first, probably. I don't know why they are not saying it. Because they're actually behaving like drunken sellers about the sinking ship. So they do not understand that the sinking ship is the, the, the ship is sinking. And the question is this, how long will those on board watch their drunken sailors allow their, sink, their ships to sink without taking control the... of the ship themselves? Welcome back. This is Radio Biafra House of Service coming to you through Radio Biafra London. My name remains Mars Jonathan Chinidu from Alopolis of Biafra Land. And we are here live and now today is the 21st day of October 2024. That's about being Monday. Our lines are now open. Our direct line is plus one, two, one, three, three, two, eight, six, two, two, four. I repeat, plus one, two, one, three, three, two, eight, six, two, two, four. Our super signal line is plus six one four zero five one four two five four seven. I repeat, plus six one four zero five one four two five four seven. Therefore, you can call us and give us your view on the issue treated. Our first caller is on signal, I think. Caller on signal. Can you hear me, please? Caller on signal. I can hear the man. Who not telling me. The war who do not drag it. And the first and lovers of peace, the man who is born now. We know this is our money. We are our land. We are our own hero. Mario Kichkono who was gruesomely assassinated by Nigeria government and their agents in our land. And today they are celebrating. But I know that celebration comes when you have done something good, not when you have mother's sleep. You kill an innocent man in front of his daughter without any a form of conscience. You did it because you have the opportunity. You see his holding what you are fighting for. He's stopping you from achieving your aim in our land, which is to criminalize your friend land. And begin to use your causes to kill our people. This is why you murder the an innocent man. But today we have more than clean our tears. Tomorrow we we'll continue. The leadership lead we follow. I can't say more than that, Mazi. And Mazi, I will come to the issue you just discussed, Mazi. That something is all about our people. Are we worth fighting for? It's a reality. Our people is not worth, worth fighting for. And why is it like this? Because we don't have leadership. Lack of leadership is what has destroyed our leader. If not, there is a movement called IPB who is standing in the gap today. There is nothing like leadership in Ali Brand. Leadership is by example, is by people, is people oriented. It cannot be leadership in isolation. You can't be a leader without a people. I look at what is happening, even in the Anese and yes, we saw the uh, statement released by Anese youth. But sometimes we begin to ask some of these questions that. No, you say on oh, the youth, there should be a body, there should be identity. There should, you can people should be seen. Like in this 
coastal region, they have that IYC, Joy Youth Council. You see the activities, they do their thing, even though they are still in their own way uh, playing their zoo politics. But you see, they stand up for some issues. But in our land, we have to organize the youth council. And our part, every day, people are being killed. Because sometimes people come out to say, uh, they are abducting our uh, youth. When we speak, they feel not what they do this. Yes, because the Nigerian government takes on so much and stuff like that. Yes, but another thing you should understand also is lack of leadership, lack of organized leadership is what is keeping us. Because in some area, like uh, you have area where they have their area where you hold my stuff. When you do something that you see them come out in protest with their flag. But in our land, there is no front. Ohanese, whatever we know about Ohanese and their youth is only issuing pay statements. This is why I begin to tell people, see, uh, anything called a politician, no exception for me. I have the right to make my, I have no exception in telling you that I condemn all Igbo politicians. Anything that, uh, as far as I see you as a Igbo man being good in surprise, uh, immediately you cross up and you want to join politics. I begin to see you as another person because I understand what Igbo politicians mean to our people because everything you see Igbo politicians is going for. He sees politics as a transaction. No, no interest of his people at his mind or in his mind or her mind. All they go there for is just financial transaction. Let Allah come. Let their bank account be you. Let their children have a place where they will be working. In their village, they build house and fences. They will go to Munara. Why a fence? We don't see none. We don't pull on in the city. We be carrying one or two about people there. They don't come there. From Abuja to uh, uh, their second residence in abroad, anywhere where they are resident to and their children, they go. They come back. Lagos, Abuja, they go. It's only when they die. You see them bringing them home, and even to them when they die, they don't even bury them. Bring them home again from the very abroad now. So. This is why somebody like P to B and tomorrow now, let's assume that tomorrow they give P to B a president. So now me as an Igbo man, I will now see that they have given Igbo people will not see that they have given Igbo a president, Igbo people the, the opportunity to rule Nigeria. Somebody like P to B, did they ask us to provide who we want to represent us in the maybe if there is anything like Igbo president? But they are pushing their own people on our truth. P2B that has never condemned all the killing that is happening in our land. But he was too quick, whatever that happened in Suku things. And for anyway, you will see him being the first to condemn, to commemorate. He's going, look, Mazi and Yasmat, we must understand that this is the politics they have been playing. And they felt they have captured our leader, Mazi Namdekano. So they cannot be cropping out to come to celebrate. First, Obasanjo go on and to be Obasanjo was the person that introduced this area to us. That was the first pointer for me when I started disliking that young midget. I never liked that idiot from immediately I saw that publication by Obasanjo that another stronger person is coming to come and replace Martin Landekano. I begin to connect the dots, and this is common sense because. You can, I, your enemy cannot introduce a leader for you. But that's why I ask our people, is it that common sense is more for most of us or what? Or are we just doing these things intentionally? Because you see today, why I'm saying I find it like this is because you see today, people are not promoting a perima, promoting some criminal situation that IPOB has come to say they have no hand in and they're using it to destroy, to do some things in some places, bomb places, and begin to create chaos. And you see people saying it, some of these people you see that they know, you see them talking like children. This is why our land is so risky and hostile to everybody who is joining in this room. We have to find again and many because the, the the, the, the mental, lack of mental toughness in our life because of this mindset of forgiveness, like Don Jonathan said, forgiveness, or this forgiving spirit that has been embedded in us, and lack of information, no history. Our fathers played a major role 
all most of them i wish all of them but most of them 80 percent of them they play this role in depriving us the sense of what happened to us even when nigeria makes it as a policy it is on them because it's a war that was forced on them they are supposed to take this information to their children to pass it around make people understand but rather they forgive and even went back to go and develop some of those places that those people did those things to them so you make our own the younger generation now they don't even see anything like collective interest again so anywhere they are they feel they are nigerian so they are in their land they can develop there they can do anything they see everybody as their brother as their friend, anywhere they, so it's only our people that still have this kind of mindset that anywhere they are everybody around them they see them as their brother they who can give everybody you know evil man is good they will just to come and chop in your heart that is who you are good but aside that you are evil you are there to be haunted but our people are not understanding this danger look at go on and other side have they been celebrating things but because they have see they have done what they are supposed to do and they are not coming to celebrate this day so it will be now will be the one standing at the top as an evil from evil side and you lost trust evil son now validating every nonsense they are doing People who murdered innocent children, starved children to death. They are the ones today now coming to lecture Nigerians on what what they fought for. They, the fight they fought is to maintain Nigeria. Telling us that I didn't mean we didn't demand for freedom, that there wouldn't have been civil war. So we are the cause of our own killing. So this is what P2B is validating and saying forgive and forget. This is the kind of policies our people are good at when it comes to 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 destroy their names and their people they see them being so special but when it comes to defend the interests of their people you will not see them but we know that whatever that has happened has happened but what is most important for us is where are we heading to from there and our destination is freedom and the leadership of ipov the dos is where we stand because we know they know the road and they are leading the way so we are behind the mass. I'll step down for that to speak and go. Thank you very much. Well, let me see. Caller on the red line. Can you hear me? Are you there? Call on the red line. Caller on the red line. Can you hear me? No. Caller on WhatsApp. Can you hear me? Please go. Call on WhatsApp. Yes, I can hear you, Nishi. Devo, Mazi. Devo. I greet you, my brothers and sisters. I to be worldwide. I greet you all. I still remain your humble. Come on, Mazi, why you do my work? We come on a new world. We move ahead. We're not looking back. And what we want to do, what we want to do is not hidden, it's in our land, our way that the whole world join hand together to bastardize. We're now gathering them one by one to fix them, to make sure. It works back again for us. My brothers and sisters, the efforts worldwide, I want to make it clear for all of us here to understand that the resolution of Biafra is the quest that all of us need to carry on. First of all, let me solidarize with our family. Solidarity forever. Solidarity forever. Solidarity forever. We shall always fight for our rights. Sorry, sorry. Solidarity forever. Solidarity forever, solidarity forever, we 
shall always fight for our right. IPOB worldwide, we must always fight for our right. And our right is what we are fighting to make sure we take control, to make sure that we represent our responsibility. That is what we're going to do on this planet Earth. When the people that think they know better come and destroy our way, give us their own to follow. And we have been following, we have been following it till today. All of us will see where we have come, we have arrived. That confusion is everywhere. The people that we look up to to show us the way, they didn't show us the way, rather, they show us another different way. We come, we have come to possess our possession, and we are not asking for any apology for that. And we are not asking any government, any country to come and help us to do it. Only what we are asking them to remove hand in our land. Because we know what they are doing in our land. In any country we go, anything we do, they count on it. But in our land, there nobody is counting the one they are doing in our land. That is why you see IP first today. Because destroy everything and plot the people that they plot this to be controlling things. If you talk, they will kill you. If you talk, they kill you. When IPOB come up, they say they will bring parallel IPOB. That they will systemize another IPOB that will, that will, that will encounter IPOB and other people that are fighting for the restoration of Biafra. All of us can take a look and see. They have systemized it. And they are now killing ourselves. They are now killing us, killing their brother. Failing to go and pursue what is pushing us. And what is pushing us is there. They didn't go and pursue what is pushing us. Only what they are doing is to look to their brother to kill. IPOB is not here to kill anybody. But only what IPOB come to do is to make sure that everybody follow up. That everybody know what is happening. That everybody recall to know that the life we are living down there is not our life. The life we are living there is foreign life. And we forget our own, call our own evil. But we dare attack IPOB that come up, that show us this way. I continue thanking IPOB. Mazin Nam the Kano. I got the key to my canicha that one. I said, No one don't come here. I'm going to go to the area. My canna go to the season. I'm going to get the area. 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 Any third officer, all of us, wherever you are, make sure you reach home and systemize your ways 
And then if you are firstborn, you systemize your resume as a first and your own own. Make sure you do the needful. Make sure. Make sure, make sure you call all your kinsmen. Call your kinsmen. Talk to them. Do not quit your speech. Abiko, ya me ndi lo kachaka haka sasia, haka kachaka haka sasia di fia yi. Wanda yi waka yi na cho, ndi lo biya na la yi. Asi chuku uka biya ma. Yi ma la yi kare ka yi ma lo wa yi. Onwe di fa yi ma la yi po wata na saro na fana po. Nani kwa sa nyanya bereke. Chuku. Nani kwa sa nyanya bereke, biya nani kwa sa nyanya bereke. Obo kike nkani kaya na achon, ndo mbo wali na kita gulo kike hane li yuzi ya wali ya ne bindi. Hane li yuzi ya wali ya ne bindi. Kaya na yungu na iso dune ukuna nkaya wa nye. Mwena kwa na nkaya wa na mwona nkaya wa nkaya. Na obo kike nkaya kaya ne wuma. Mwena na mwona kike wukie. Onyo mwona mwona kike wukie. Obo kike wukaya kaya ne wuma kia nko kubwa. Kaya do siya nya. Kwa kuru wa krisu. Kaya wali ya wwe kye nto. Bola ni bola ni bola ni 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 bola ni ombi ke. Oga biya ni kwa ya. Sate na ni kawa. Ombi ya juu kwa ni kawa. Kwa ni juu. Ndeo wamana sa please. Ayaka ni kawa. Round up. People are waiting. Ndeo. Ayaka ni kawa. Ayaka ni kawa na ni kawa. Kwa ni juu mwana. Ayu na wewe buna me sagari aro. Ayu na me kasi me. Ndo ndo buna me kasi me. Oga biya ni. When I said that you could carry on, because I can't say that you guys are not special. One note, one of my uncle took it on you. Oh, my long life, I'm afraid I didn't. You may have caught the fever, okay? No, 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 on Mars, yeah. Um, um, I'm a gym maker, uh, because this, um, I'm on here, they deactivated my account from getting all the live notifications, so the only way I know that online will go check it manually, so I'm going to my hand game, I will greatly appreciate it. Please repeat, oh, repeat so again at, uh, from At some point, I will send you a message on WhatsApp to know if, like, a schedule when you come online so that I will manually check. Meanwhile, that is, by the way, Mazi, um, I greet you once again, and I I greet our Supreme Leader, Mazi Namdekano, a prisoner of conscience, a political prisoner of conscience. Uh, Mazi, um, following the recent things, so they come the because of this Facebook thing. Uh, we still mourn the 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 gruesome death or the gruesome killing of our lovely brother Mazi Kechu uh, The thing is so painful, and um, we cannot forget. I listen to all your questions. Uh, one thing is lacking, just like Metro will say. One thing is lacking in IPOB. I don't know how long it will take us to set up a machinery that will be taming backstabbers and the people who are sabotaging their, their comrades. Because uh, what happened to Mazi Kechku is not far from what, what made me started on following some, some leaders. I don't want to call names. Aim at this buffoon known as South African Kenera attachment. You remember when he was online and the Mentioning location of comrades, it made me I, I develop cold feet in following some leaders because 
They refuse to see the danger in it. It has happened today that uh, Mazi Kitkrik Ugoha, who is a very strong member of this movement, was mowed down because of the same kind of people. So I think the leadership, we have a good day, 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 we have a good we we Coming to uh, the, your speech before you make here, um, people will be nobody should take it to be serious. No reasonable IPOB member should take it to be serious. Makanae people will be ne mekita. Go the same thing Zeke will do today. He want to please the outsiders and displease himself. People will be is calling for investigation of funding Urona Nemo. Under his leadership, they threw, they threw bodies of Ndibo on the Zoo River. Can you hear me? They will keep people, police will be invading our land. And they will be mad. Now, they will be mad here and there. People will never condemn it. But they will be mad. They will be mad. They will be mad. They will be a good Nigerian. No, I, I, was, I, was in, I was in Jaffa land a few weeks ago, less than three weeks ago. I saw what is going on there. Our land is under invasion, Mazi. Bang the under complete invasion. Every two posts, even police. They don't even care for your license anymore. They don't care. They don't ask you for anything. All they care is money. Bang you know, under invasion. Finally, Mazi. Uh, before I say my final point, I, I want to beg you, Mazi. Anytime you start your program, find a way to regulate it. Because we'll phone your and your program will hold you the line for 15, 20 minutes. Ogbo he will be repeating himself. And others are waiting on the line. Or the him man now, because many of us are yelling to call. You also have your own time. Before you know it, you will close the program. So if, if you can time in three, three minutes or four minutes, maximum. Onye kuo or drop one ke or Finally, Mazi, what Mazi Tinasa will posted on his program. I want to let Jafras know that we are not alone about Australian Aboriginal. I saw one senator who was shouting at uh, King Charles. Maybe in Canada. Yes. This is happening in Canada. And United States, Europeans have caged so many people. In Ghana, US, for example, New Mexico, Arizona, and um, somewhere around North Dakota, they pursued Aboriginals to empty deserts. I just not on a desert. It's almost in no man's land. No amenities, nothing. They are, they are marginalized in their own land. Either in Canada, Aboriginals have been pursued almost towards the north part of the, the country, close to the North Pole. Alaskan side. All they do is hunting, living like in abject poverty. Whereas, Canada with a, a massive oil reserve. They don't benefit all those things. So I want to encourage Biafras and lovers of freedom. This thing that is happening is globally. Until until I Baje Akaji resources in the Biafra will live in the Britain. Baje Haka, they will not leave us alone. This thing and mean are libo is to cause obstruction so that they can lay pipe. They will distract everybody, lay pipe and be sucking our gas. Talking about a Kumeko again, leadership should set up a coded group. Then it be funded one by one. Whether Mobu Sabotua, whether Monina, I think pipeline in the name of Britain, Abaji Haka. By the time they fight, they see that they cannot combat those jungle jungle warriors. They will leave us alone. Mazi, thank you so much. I'm Mazi Amechi. Of course, the leadership. <laughs> <laughs> they know what they are doing. But uh, they know they know what uh, what what they are doing. Um, caller on uh, signal. Am I right? Is it signal? Marzi. Um, let me see. Marzi, Chris. Is it signal or? Yes, I think so. 
Yeah, yeah, that's that's yeah, well, Mark, go, 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 go on. You'll be the last caller. Are you, you are hearing me, right? Yes, the whole world is hearing you. Okay, thank you, Mazi. Good evening. Um, lovers of uh, freedom, I will be worldwide. Uh, um, it had been a sudden period for us. Uh, Mazi China someone say he could have cancelled the broadcast of uh, Saturday, but uh, it has been already scheduled. And he has to talk to their friends. It's a period of uh, sadness, and uh, but uh, it cannot deter us. Uh, all I want to say is that um, many of us will go down. Some of us that believe in this struggle, knowingly or knowingly, one day maybe it will occur. And all I have to tell somebody: if you kill me today, all I have to say to you is goodbye. See you next time, because definitely uh, you must come here. Nobody, no, everybody must die on this planet. So, all it does to keep me in time, maybe you cut off what I could have done. And the, those things I would have done, you cannot do it then. Hmm? But maybe it left you for another person to do. I'm happy, Mazi China Samoro said a few days ago, that the IPOB has led an institution that it, we want you to be a good person with a good character. Tomorrow, People are shifting from the position and you are becoming up. You don't know who to be. Maybe HOD tomorrow or a position, very sensitive position in IPOB. It's a very good joy to me. That's what I tell our people. That is what our people does not know. When I say our people are political, I mean what by that? Our people are too are political. And what in uh, the Banye or the Edgar? That's what how the organization of people are like to in the Igbo. In the Bagota there. When they go to Igbo meeting or Igbo union or Igbo association, when they quarrel with one or one another, they disappear. I got my best going here again. Yesterday I met one of our friend here who said uh, he complained what they did to him here, the Igbo union here. He said, that's why I don't like to mingle with us. I said, no, that's a wrong idea. What you do is that when the system is wrong, be there to make sure that you have to put the system good, put it right, not to run away. Um, Maze, can I say something from... here? Maze, do you know that this is a, pro is a very big problem? This thing you said now, that's what I used to counsel yes. some people. You will be in a, a group whereby, you know, Everybody, before you know, I'm getting out now. I owe him here. I cannot, uh, you know. And I say, if you get out, I get out. This person get out. The other person get out. Everything will collapse. Who will be there in order to exactly. put it right? So that is a mistake our people are making. Before you name, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, Oh yeah, we report and on Rusia born or now, so Kuna amazing here even worse. Instead of staying and Possibly. trying fighting to get every for everybody to be right or for, to put things right, yeah, on your own It's a mistake. Yeah. Maz, go on, please. That is a that is the the nature of the you have to understand this. That's our nature, and the, that's why we have come. That's why I love IPOB from the heart. From me for everything about me, I love IPOB because it's a organization. To I was a coordinator in my zone before, and the. After me, I think three people has been the coordinator there, or two people. I'm not more a coordinator there, people, and the, the, the zone is still waxing, going on. Uh, so this is how it is. So when you leave there, another person will take over and continue. Our people are like this. Anytime they, that's why they have uh, um, many branches of their group. I also give a map before look at the some people, I'm a peker. Maybe something like church they open their own or they open another you hear even when i last uh, 10 years ago when i went home when i went home 10 years ago in my village in my village because of uh, issue raised in my village somebody chairman who's supposed to lead our my village people to go for one other barrier refuse and give all that and anybody goes through that barrier should pay ten thousand on my own side and the some people refuse say why should we pay ten thousand to go and bury go for our our daughter's burial why some people
people resist and say refuse to obey that order from chema and went and this man they said that they should pay that uh, no to two thousand then but nobody want to pay that money and you know what they did they sort of them to continue to go that to that meeting some of them they camp and they open another one then we have two meetings in my village then and this is the character we are talking about Instead of you to go and open and that one, you be there and fight that thing to make it to be correct. That's how it's supposed to be. But our people, Obren Yemato Honobla, that's what it's an apunya. If you look at it on the Pelenke, how does a group only care the seven group and say under my hand? And that is a that's why we remain where we are. And uh, let me put this one about Peter B. You said about Peter. Peter B was deliberately bring brought out to counter what a baby is doing. If, if you don't know it, know it. The, the coming out of P2B, even the Labour Party giving a surrender to give him chairman, is to mellow the, the place for Biafra struggle down, to bring it down. And actually, it hit us. As you said there, uh, let me just say what there's a brother that used to call this radio on Marzia Luzi, Ben Oka, uh, ben Oka for, if I'm not mistaken. No, for no need of calling names. He used to Please, say, no need of calling names. No, no, okay, okay, okay. Let me know. We are saying something here very neutral. Um, what I'm saying is that he used to say, uh, sometimes I can't tell him what he said about it. Too, but then he said, no, this this struggle, uh, I will have many front to fight it. If that man be there, if he be a president there, then we are doing what we are doing. I said, no, you get it wrong. So now, let me talk about this Peter. Peter B was the person who they brought it, they brought him out deliberately. The Brit British government, uh, government and Nigeria, they brought him out to make sure that they counter everything we are doing so in order to bring down the 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 volume of ipob 10 down the world is to present the most lovely person in the, uh, as long as politics is concerned in ebola he is the among the best person i talk of politics and all that in, in ebola today they brought in that person and present him and somebody stepped down from the uh, uh and lp presidential candidate and allow him to be there and he be there he took over everything even the many people doesn't want us go uh, they, they don't want us to be one but they want us to be still in the same country now they don't love us they support him they queue up they cheer him everything all this thing was done prepared in order to bring him down to the fact that this man why i hate peter b is that peter b went to benin to the other other bus palace palace and near down about talk way and coach is not in our tradition of in our culture to kneel down for kneel down for any human any human being and he did it simple because he wanted to become the president and today he is not the president of nigeria today but he did he did all these things in order to please those thinking that they are taking him the right way we don't know that there are enemies just like what you talk about Masa, uh, Musad. They go behind you and get your secret and then walk on it. But you may not know. They have taken the secret of everything you have. So this is what they are doing to us. It's only when our people begin to understand the political cycle, how the politics of the world works, how being collective works. Our our character, our nature, being grown up uh, as a uh, uh, individualism has destroyed us it has destroyed us nobody knows what to do to bring in to come in in the cycle of collectivity they don't know it's only that ipb are coming in now to bring this table bringing people in and i wish the leadership and ipb member those that understand this struggle very well will continue talking preaching i just talk to talk to comrades even if you insult me but not violently I will laugh at it because I see that he is ignorant of what he's talking about. I'll, tomorrow I see him, I'll still talk to him. Even if he insult me, but not violent, I will still I will laugh and put it aside. That is what I don't tell him. The day, uh, could you imagine that I was preaching to somebody? He said that the day I see him, uh, he will get slapped. I said, really? So yes. But that person, could you believe me that one day I saw him in our meeting? Then, I said, why? He said that uh, he was praising me what I did to convict him into his struggle. I said, no, because you are ignorant. So I want to put you correct. So that is what we continue. We in IPB will continue doing until we get it right. Now we are getting it wrong, but we must get it right. We must get it right. In other words, we are perished.
Indeed, but I perish. Thank you, Mazi, and God bless you. Mazi, thank you very much. We must continue. We must continue. This is where I'm going to switch up the phones, please. Biafra remains who we are. And we must be at a lot in order for us to decipher every plans of our enemies because we have many enemies are you hearing me so that is it that is it so in order to stress on what our brother said we have that's why i say we are sentimental people we are not we are completely apolitical it's a problem oh this thing we are talking light is our character is a problem we need to adjust to 21st century what do i mean we are people that are always you know we we cannot endure or anger we are always angered and once we are angered i know we are straightforward set of people we are straightforward that is how straightforward people behave they become provoked and they have you know anger because they want the, the you know they cannot be uh, how do i put it they cannot be patient with somebody if it is not understanding if the person is not understanding or doing things the way they like it that is number one so they must convince you if they, even if to hit you beat you why you know it is not in this 21st century any longer we should adjust our characters this is also leading to you see in every book group you have divisions you know this is what they want to bring in ipob have cabal before you know one group they will form different different splinter groups because they will go and now nah, once we are inside the same group, no, 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 no. Now, if it is like, no, 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 he come out. Before you know, he have formed his own cabals and group, who call it, he criticize all, no, 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 this person, before you know, one group will form three, four, five different groups, only on a nose in a mayor. These are bad, bad habits. It's in our blood. But we should try in order to remove it. Are you hearing me? We should try to be acclimatized to the system we are now. Being a political is being able to end. I mean, being political, not a political. Being political, or you know, political human beings, being able to patiently convince somebody being able to bear with somebody even in his ignorance you bear with him even when when you are annoyed inside you hold your annoyance you hold your, you are able to hold yourself and portray uh, uh, you know uh, politeness you know from polite you get politics you, you you that is that is it you become you you portray politeness why you are you want to kill the person inside but outside you portray you know you say okay you become polite that is from that you get politics plain politics being able to, to bear things not to show your emotions to portray your emotions as it, as it is and that is why we cannot be able to be in one group for so long Abasha, before in a gotta form another one. Before in a I form one cabals, and I split that into pieces. That that kind of character is no more good for this generation. It makes people become splintered, division everywhere, and divided we fell. That is that is what it is. I am telling you, if you are in a group, like in this IPOB, where things are not, you know, going as you do so, everybody, as people you see, as everybody have different faces, that is how 
we reason differently. You see, the whole 8 billion plus people in this planet, no person has the same fingerprint with another. The same. No, 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 no. Two people does not have the same fingerprint. It is impossible. So, why should people reason, reason the same way? That is why we need an overall ideology that guides us. And that is why we bring Biafra as, an hour, as our ideology, as our religion. Because what we thought that is our religion that, that was brought from outside to us, imposed on us, that we guide us and put us together, it does not work. Instead, it splintered us. So we have to, we put up an ideology. Our tradition that is original to us have been destroyed by the foreign religion. So it's now trying, we are trying to build things. So we have to, we must use one gathering point, which is Biafra now, in order to gather us together. So apart from that, people reason to, the, the rate of understanding is different. Just check in your classrooms when you are schooling. You have a 20, 25, 30 people inside class. You have those that if the teacher knows, all of you, I mean, uh, scholars knows also, know also. Students know. There are people you don't need to, you know, teach two times. They have on, they have captured everything. There are people you come every day, you teach, teach from morning to night. They will not understand. They will start, you ask them questions, they will not, they cannot be able to answer or get it correct. So that is how things are. That is carrying everybody along. That is poli politics, plain being political. But when we want to write, maybe you bring a, a suggestion in a group whereby uh, for you is the is good suggestion. But you want everybody to accept it is good like that. And people are talking this one. We talk as you understand, talk another thing. You say no, no. If it's like that, me, I'm getting out of here. These people are dumb. This and it doesn't work like that. When you get out, who is going to make that place function? If you get out there, you um, you will make no more impact there because you are no more there. That's what I used to advise people. You run away, you run away. Why? Stay there and fight it. It's hard. That is how to change uh, people's way of thinking. Or uh, it's not easy. So you stay there and fight it. And every time you continue hammering the same thing until before you know, some people will start buying that that idea. Or that way of thinking. That is it. Another thing, you know, that used to baffle me. When I check the number of indigenous population in the world today, I was shocked. Out of 800 billion, I mean, 8 billion people in this planet Earth, indigenous people, you call them aborigine in Australia, you call them, but it's all indigenous people. Ndiwala. We are no more. We are we are just from they say from whether three to five hundred million out of eight billion. Now it keeps me thinking. Say, what is the problem? Like our brother said, which is correct. Indigenous people everywhere are targeted. Is it the way we the way indigenous people reason? Is there something really bad uh, concerning the character of indigenous population? That is something. How can you? Okay, okay. When you check indigenous population in Canada, they are poor. They really in uh, Australia the same thing. They, are, they call them Aboriginal, but they are indigenous people. Just it's just name. Now they really get them into drinking and uh, making merry, and they don't even. Why don't they think and look? We need to advance. What is happening? So what is the problem with indigenous population? Is, is there anything that the world, the secret, the world is seeing that is making them to massacre or displace indigenous people, take away their properties, their landed property, their natural resources, you know? Sometimes I, I want people to also research about this, please, because it gives me, it makes me continue, it makes me think, think, I don't know why. Why is it that indigenous people everywhere are relegated to suffering? They own the land, they own the resources, but you see them how won't they relegate to the background? In the Bia visitors or foreigners mostly 
are the ones in charge. Why is it so? When you look at it in another context, look at, for example, you go to the owner, the owners of the, the indigenous people of Lagos. Is it their worries? They call them Europeans today. See where they are living. They are next to nothing. The main properties and developed in all the places are owned by foreigners, mostly Igbo people. Now, I'm giving in another context also. Why is the indigenous people always relegated? It gives me concern. There is something that is there. I am telling you. There is something that I, 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 I is not making sense. I cannot understand. Everywhere. Is it in the Americas? Look at them where they live. In Amazon, they are not developed. They are there like um, they are relegated. But there, in their lands lie underneath the lands lie natural resources that are very very costly developing other places but they are relegated to nonsense that is what they want to do in our land so what is the problem with indigenous population please that is what i'm asking another time maybe we might talk about it if you have any clue you let me know please call and let us know thank you for listening Biafra remains our tradition biafra remains our religion is our number one ideology so we must continue until victory is assured and mazen namdekano remains there for us in the forefront and we are here for him we must continue making sure that we move forward thank you for listening from me mazen jonathan chinedu from here, it is simply good evening. Matinipe, <laughs> Benini, Rogue Hoggy, Sinak and Diro, where Pota, no Ganaka get Aka. Ugwan area to Ebu. On your wine, Union Dragny, Tolo, Checho Pucano, no Muya, Gozipa and Dician in the Directorate of State, US. A Pandini Naga Ozi Oro IPOB, I shall say, I need Lincoln on a United Kingdom. Nani can ume irugide orwa ruel of woge. Laura and yogo, a merry brun cany, Megidendi ne Megidani, Chequa mubia franine, just omapuani, the ESL, Napa ipunibe, ono nulo, no ono panama, Ezin nani agune chamber. Mera anyi kariya okanyi yorogina abalea. Kwa umu anyi wezu oke. Otitoni na aburu nke gi. Uwe mwe biafra aga ajapa. Anyari ogi. Tena hamwagi nke mua kwere. Yeshua amashia. Ise. 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 Ise.